um, it's Brittany, and for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I am Basecamp Mama, and I make videos once a week about our family and our adventures and um, just all things family. So today I thought it would be super fun to do a video about what it was like being a college mom. Um, for those of you guys who don't know my story, um, I got pregnant when I was 17 years old, my senior year of high school um, and I ended up graduating a semester early and starting college when I was five months pregnant um, at a community college. So um, yeah, so I started community college like I said when I was five months pregnant and I ended up graduating when my daughter Lily right there, that cutie, um, was four years old. Um, and this is just kind of how I made it work and what it kind of looked like. Um, so the whole time that I was in college, I was working full time. Um, I was working anywhere in between one and three jobs, um, depending on the year and my schedule and all that stuff. Um, so I started at community college. Um, I was there for two years and that really worked well um, when Lily was really young because they are a lot more open to different types of students and things like that. So I was able to bring her to study sessions or <laughs> in those real desperate days <laughs> when I could not find a babysitter. I brought her to chemistry class. I really did. Um, I brought her with me because I had nowhere else to bring her and that's just how it was. Um, and they had a room that I was able to pump in, which worked really well um, when I was in class. And um, the way that it kind of worked out, which was a blessing and really hard at the same time, is for the first year that I was in college, um, I was with Lily's dad. Um, so it made it so that way we could have opposite schedules. So when I was at school, he would hang out with Lily. And then when he was at work or school, I would be with Lily. Um, so she didn't have to go to um, daycare or anything like that until she was one, which is when he ended up leaving. Um, and I actually started going, and I finished my second year of community college when she was one. And um, I started working at a preschool, um, which made it so that way, she was able to go there for free, um, whether I was working on that day or not. And I would just drop her off before going to school. Um, so after my two years at community college, I got my associates in science and I transferred to university. Um, university was, was a whole other ball game, friends. Um, so it's really expensive to live in a town that is a college town. Um, renting there is horrendous it's not possible for a single mom who was going to school and working it just it wasn't possible for me at least um so we ended up living one town over which was about a 30 minute drive um so lily and i had a town home there and we would drive in the mornings and i would drop her off at preschool and then i would have to get to university and it would take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour door to door to get to my classes just because of parking and dropping her off and driving and everything so it was pretty chaotic um but i was able to set up my schedule in such a way that i was going to school like tuesday thursdays and then i would work monday wednesday friday and then um whenever she went to her dad's house, I would work too. Um, and I continued working at the preschool the entirety of college because I was able to get free childcare and it paid decent. Um, and then in addition to that, I took a number of internships and did some online work, some freelancing, um, which is the only way that I was able to pay bills. So while I was at university and on my own, um, I was probably working anywhere between one to three jobs and um, going to school full time. I was taking five to seven credit classes every single semester because I ended up getting a bachelor's and then two minors with my bachelor's. Um, so it was a doozy. Um, we would wake up, I would drive Lily to school, um, and I would go to school or work. And then I would get off of either school or work always by four o'clock and then um, we would do stuff together. I was really determined that she was gonna get to have a full childhood no matter what I was trying to get done. So I would not do a single lick of homework until she was in bed. Um, so from four to 8.30, it was me and Lily time. So we did art projects, sensory tables, the library, she took classes. Um, and then as soon as 8.30 hit, I would, there's like, 
there we go. <laughs> it's like a little smudge of something, maybe some chocolate. I don't really know. Um, so as soon as 8.30 hit, I would, this is so bad, but I would drink like a five hour energy drink or a rock star or something and start powering through it. Um, and I probably wouldn't go to bed until one or 2 AM because I had to get my freelance marketing work done. And then I also had to get any school work done. Um, and when you're in university and there's like group projects and stuff, that makes it really, really difficult um, to get done because I didn't have that that free space. Um, so I would bake like cupcakes or something and like try and convince my group members that they wanted to come over at 830 and be like relatively quiet because my kid was sleeping, um, which at university when you're like was a bunch of like partying like college kids they're like um you want us to drive 30 minutes so you can make us cupcakes and then we have to be quiet that makes a lot of sense i'm like i'm desperate um <laughs> so it was crazy um but like i said um she graduated i graduated when she was four and at that point lily had been to more study sessions with me and gotten to know more college kids than any kid should ever have to get to know um and it was really funny my final semester well, wasn't really funny it was actually really crappy um lily was she got super super sick um multiple times she just had like um strep throat and like a cough and if they have a fever they can't go to preschool um so she ended up learning a whole heck of a lot about econometrics and um business management and things like that because i would have to either bring her cuddled up to class and i would have her in a blankie and like um snuggled up in the back with me or um she would just be i would have to do work from homework from home and um i couldn't do it when she was asleep because she wasn't really sleeping regularly it was it was really rough um but by the end she was like she could tell you like all these terms like all of these uh, business school terms and it was hilarious um but yeah um it was really hard and really stressful i'm not gonna lie but i 100 percent wouldn't have done it any differently i'm so glad that i decided i was gonna go to college and that i no matter how hard it got or how tired i was i just pushed through and lily was always able to have that special family time no matter how tired mommy was i was like we are doing a sensory table this week we are doing it um i'm not gonna lie some sensory tables were way better than others um but we still did it um and that was great and i'm i know that it's you shouldn't i shouldn't say this because it's um you know i don't want i don't want to encourage other girls to have their kids as young as I did because it makes it way harder than you need it to be but I'm so glad she was able to experience that with me and it was a really special time in our lives my hair is just like chaotic you guys what is it doing <laughs> but I'm really glad that she was able to experience it with me and um yeah it was just a really good time to have her there because it was that person who was there and loved you unconditionally no matter how hard your business plan was or your marketing project or whatever um yeah and i know that i didn't get the conventional college experience but we worked it out i joined a sustainability club i ran the marketing for them um and i did some honor societies and people yes they were weirded out that i brought my kid but they were really sweet and they did great with her and they were so nice um and encouraging and when i graduated it was cool because people would recognize her and they're like oh hey lily like blah blah, blah. and we it was so cute. I'll have to, I'll insert a picture on here. Um, but, or maybe down below, I'm not sure. Um, but when I graduated, Lily got to wear her own cap and gown too. And, um, I wore my cap and gown and we got tons of pictures all over the college. And it was really special because she felt like she had been involved in it and she really, um, 
she knew the campus, which is ridiculous. Um, but we would have like picnics on campus because I would have to go to like a study session and I'd be like, okay, before the study session, we will play soccer in the quad and we will have a picnic and it'll be super fun. And it'll be just like we went to the park <laughs> and she was too, like, she thought it was, we were good. It was like the park. It was fine. <laughs> Um, and yeah, they just, they got to know her and my professors knew her, um, and were really kind. I think I got really lucky. Um, it definitely wasn't easy, but it was a beautiful experience. Um, so if you have any questions or you're a college mom and you're looking for some super cool tips, go ahead and comment below, like subscribe, um, yeah, I think that's basically it. Oh, if you're a college mom, I have some theme songs for you that are the only thing that made it so I can make it through. And seriously, you can ask my husband because he was there for my senior year. Um, my theme songs are um, Almost There from The Princess and the Frog. And then The Trolls where Poppy is singing and she's like, um, I'm on my way or something like that. This is my other theme song. Um, and then Zootopia, when the bunny is going in and she's like, um, oh, it's by, it's by Shakira. Like, she literally sings the song. Um, I think it's like another song, like, I Won't Give Up or something. Um, yeah. Um, those were my theme songs. So I would just listen to them on repeat while I was studying. I was like, you got this. Don't give up. It's 3 a.m., but it's going to be great. You're going to graduate. Um, so that's my college mom story. And I that's all I got, friends. <laughs> Bye.